Um, so this is on one of the Google Summer of Code projects um, that I was actually mentoring. Um, my student was Nico, who couldn't be here today, but he did an excellent job, I have to say. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and jump right in. Um, so what we've been asked, I mean, we're implementers, and we had a bunch of um, customers asking for uh, what does CVCM offer in, um, in, with respect to strategic fundraising, meaning um, planning campaigns, have a structure of campaign, uh, campaigns, um, sort of finding out how well your campaign's doing. And there's actually very little. Um, of course, you can do reporting, but like, um, in order to get like a one, at one glance um, sort of start status update of your campaign, you need to um, create a lot of um, sort of reporting, processing, graphs, and stats. So what we wanted to do is to provide a UI and tools within CVCRM um, to actually make this as easy as possible um, for campaigners. Um, so what we wanted to do is the tools, we wanted to give um, KPIs. I think most of the people are um, familiar with the term. It's basically um, key figures that tell you how well your campaign's doing. Um, and right now it's implemented as an extension because um, we hope to put it into the core at some point, but um, seeing that there's people actually want to use it right now with the uh, 4.6 version, that's not, gonna, that's not gonna happen to go into 4.6 anytime soon or at all. Um, so right now it's an extension. Um, to explain what I mean by um, structured, structured campaigns, uh, we, there actually is um, a feature in the database so that you can build campaign structures, like a hierarchy of campaigns. Uh, a campaign hierarchy is, uh, for example, we have a Christmas campaign 2015 and it consists of different uh, parts, right? Like a newsletter, like we put internet ads up and a telephone campaign. And, and we want to be able to distinguish whether we get new members from the newsletter or from the internet ads and so on. Um, unfortunately, the whole feature hasn't been exposed, right? In CV right now, you can't go and say this is a sub part of another campaign. Um, so this is where we were going for. Since the structures in the database have already been there, we didn't have to change anything in CV itself. We could just use it as an extension. Um, to, to sort of expose these new functionalities. Um, the second thing we had to add is expenses. Uh, because if you want to get um, figures on how well your campaign's doing, you, for example, for something like return on investment, you need to know how much money you spent on the campaign. So we um, included a system to actually keep track of expenses and sort of add expenses to the campaigns. Um, it's not very elaborate. It's basically you can um, add some money in, um, so some costs in, and um, have different types of costs, but it's a very basic. It's basically just to provide the figures for the evaluation um, for the KPIs. Um, exactly. So what we needed then is to come up with a basic set of KPIs that come out of the box because uh, most, I mean, a lot of people would want to come up with their own. A KPI set of KPIs, but uh, we decided it's very important that it has, it offers some kind of out of the box KPIs uh, that everyone can use to get an idea of what's actually, what, what, what the idea is there. Um, um, an important thing is that a KPI for, for example, the Christmas campaign would have to be calculated not just for that one campaign, but for the whole tree. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get back to this in a minute. But this is something that's um, in a lot of the reporting things that we have, it's not covered at all, right? Uh, you can have, you can, you can sort of evaluate every individual campaign, but not the, the whole structure. Um, and in order for us to, um, to get to this one, at one glance kind of idea of how well your campaign's doing, obviously you need to visualize the, the KPIs as well. Um, what's important is that, um, as uh, Ilya, I don't know if he's here, pointed out, um, uh, when we asked him for what would be a good set of, um, of sort of out-of-the-box KPIs, he said there is none. 
So because every, every organization, is diff uh, organization is different, every campaign is different, so we, we, we made sure there's a hook in there um, so that some developer with a little um, effort can uh, remove add KPIs to their liking. Um, and the fourth thing uh, that we added is, I, I call it templating, basically what it does, if you have a very elaborate structure of a campaign set up, uh, I mean, in the case, in our example, it's just uh, three, four campaigns. But if you have a very elaborate structure, then you would want to be able to reuse it next year, for example. Um, just copy the Christmas 2015 campaign, if it was successful, into a new campaign called Christmas um, 2016. Um, and we have a cloning tool that offers you uh, to do some word replacement. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, but it's, it's something that I think is very handy. Um, I'm going to go and try. We have a, um, a demo site up, but I don't know if the network's... Okay, so this is the, this is the, the old campaign dashboard. Oh, you don't see that, right? There we go. Um, so this is the old campaign dashboard. Um, what, what's really weird for me at the beginning, and I didn't even know that was a problem, is that there's no sort of page to view one particular campaign. You can edit it, but there's no campaign view. So this is where we, where we sort of entered with the extension. Um, this, what you, hear, what you see here is the, the online demo that we set up in, in the course of this Google Summer Float project. Um, and now you can see that here's a view button, right? Uh, which is pretty much compliant with, with the CVCM uh, way of doing things. Um, and if you, let's pick, yeah, let's, let's pick this one. Um, oh, there we go. Um, so now you get a, a nice page displaying your campaign, right? Um, you see the structure. Maybe we should go to the top campaign at this point, which is uh, the virtual fundraiser. Um, yeah. Okay. okay um, so what I told earlier is um, in order to be able to do um, the tree structure, you need to be able to uh, sort of visualize and modify it, right? This is like a, a demo campaign we set up. Uh, you can easily edit it by just drag and dropping stuff around. Um, um, and basically, for example, if you want to go back to the view to see your campaign, is what you see is a, um, a sort of, well, down here is the KPIs. This is the set of KPIs we, we, we sort of put into um, the system to, be, to come out of the box. And two of them we decided to uh, visualize. So this is a donation heartbeat. So seeing at what point donations are coming in and back to your campaign. And it's important to understand that this is, as this is the, the root node of the campaign we're looking at right now, this is the data from all the, from the root node itself and the individual campaigns underneath it, right? Um, so if you, for example, um, you could probably sort of go down the tree and see where it goes. That's why there's a revenue breakdown saying where, where from my sub-campaigns uh, is the most of the revenue coming. Um, exactly, just to give you an idea. Um, I think, yeah, I'm going to skip the rest of the demo. <laughs> um, uh, sorry? What? We want to see more, basically. <laughs> tell, tell that to Ollie. <laughs> um, so, no, I just wanted to say um, thank you to Nico, who, who did an excellent job um, on this. It's not ready for production, right? It still has a bunch of quirks, but this is the, the usual thing that happens with the Google Sum of Code projects is you get a big chunk of the work done, but then you need a lot of, you need some to, to put an extra effort over the next couple of months after the project is finished to make it production ready. So uh, contact us if, you, if you're interested. We're looking for a, for a pilot customer client to sort of make this production ready or group of people or whatever. Because we really think it's a good, we really think it's a good um, addition to the, the to the campaigning capabilities of um, of Civi. Um, the um, there's some basic information on uh, on our GitHub and the, the code obviously is there, 
And there's a campaign manager. This is the, the demo we set up, and it's, it's got all the links to the various um, sort of resources in the wiki and all the, all the information. Yeah, that's it.